Good morning, everyone. My name is Stephanie, and I am a preschool special education teacher in Connecticut. Open eye, feel the waves cut through me. Hit today your is Monday, and it is me and Greet today. So that means that I get to meet my kiddos and their families, and I am so excited. Um, it is 7.10-ish. Um, I'm going to leave in about five minutes. The families don't get there until 8.15, um, but I want to make sure that I'm a little bit early so I can set up. I have um, little welcome packets for them that I'm going to print out, um, so that way as they come in, they can get a little bit more information about the class. Um, yeah, so I have to say I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> I want to make a good impression, um, but I think it's going to be fine. Uh, what I'm going to do is have a couple things out. So I'll put out, I think, Legos, Play-Doh, um, and then I think I'll do like dramatic play. So like the kitchen and stuff. Um, so the children will be able to play while I talk to their family members um, and just kind of give them some little notes on what our year is going to look like and then on Thursday, we have this really cool thing. Um, we call it Hopes and Dreams Conferences. So we meet with families, and they kind of tell us what their hopes and dreams are for their child. So what they want their child to get out of the year. Um, and, like, you know, just some things about their child that will help us. I think that will be really helpful, especially for me, having students who might need a little bit of extra help. Um, what kind of things work for them, what their abilities are, what things like their families really want them to work on this year. So I think that'll be really good. So I'm excited about that. But yeah, it's going to be really fun. Um, I'll show you once I get to school, I'll take little videos of like the packet and stuff that I'll have. Obviously, I'll blur out, you know, my information, <laughs> but I will kind of show you just the gist of what um, I'm going to hand out to the families. I will include um just like a general information sheet so that'll have things like the school phone number in case they need to get in touch with anyone um it'll have the times um my students are half day so i'll have the times for them um so they know like what time school is um and then all of the names of the adults that will be relevant to their child so my name and the paraprofessionals that are in my room um, and then also things like the occupational therapist and physical therapist, speech pathologist, um, because those are all student, all adults that the student will work with. So I'll have that information on there. And then what else is in there? I have a pack. I have a page about transportation. So if the child is going to take the van to school, you know what that'll look like. And then if the child gets dropped off and picked up, what that'll look like. I think this year will be a little bit different um, because they like change some things around like which door um, children will get dropped off at. So I need to like double check on that, but I used the information that um, one of the other teachers had sent me. So hopefully <laughs> that's right. Um, I will double check though. Um, I also have some information in there about, like, um, communication. So I normally in the past have used Seesaw, and I love that app. It's a great app to be able to share things with families. Um, but one of the other teachers introduced me to Bloom, um, the four-year-old special ed teacher. I'm teaching the three-year-olds. Um, she says she uses Blooms, which sounds really cool. Um, and I, like, played around with it, so I think I'm going to use that one. Um, it's an app where you can, like, share pictures and stuff, but then you can also, like, ask for volunteers and set up, like, dates and stuff. So, I think it'll be really cool. So, I have an, inf an information sheet about that. Um, but, yeah, it's 7.13. I'm going to get ready to go, um, but I will see you at school.
So I am back from school. I hung out, ate some dinner, that kind of thing, um, but decided I wanted to take a little time to talk with y'all. So I have, as of right now, a total of nine kids, and I had, I think, six families um, to come, came to visit today. So that was really fun. Um, yeah, it was really good. It went a lot better than I expected. Um, this is horrible lighting. I'm sorry. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to find some good lighting here. So it went really well. I'm actually very impressed. Um, you know, most of the kids were very shy coming in. Some of them came right in, like got right to playing. But some of them, you know, took a little bit of time, hung on to an adult <laughs> before they could, you know, open up and come talk to me. Um but yeah, it seems like a really good group. I am so excited for my families because they seem so like just encouraging and like really excited about their child to go to school and learn things. It seems like they're going to be you know, a really good group. So I'm excited. It'll be fun. I have one family that speaks Spanish and I am comfortable enough with Spanish to send things home translated properly for them. Um... However, to make sure that, um, like, I can best communicate their child's, you know, successes and their needs, I want to make sure that there's an interpreter for conferences. So I reached out to, we actually have an interpreter in district um, who does the Spanish interpretation, like, for, like, our PPTs and other meetings, things like that. Um, so I reached out to him today. And I, you know, introduced myself and said that I'll have a family who speaks Spanish and, you know, I want to make sure that I can best accommodate them. Um, and so he gave me his schedule of, you know, when he'll be in town, um, like when he'll be um, like at our schools and stuff. So I'm hoping that I'll get to meet him on Thursday. Um, I'll see. I will reach out to mom again, who I talked to and um, just let her know, like, this is the interpreter's name. Like, he's happy to come in Thursday morning for conferences. Let me know, like, what time works for you. So I'll do that. Um, but, yeah, there are a couple bilingual teachers. They have, like, a bilingual class where the students will speak some English and some Spanish. Um, and so those teachers um, were, like... I was told that those teachers would be good resources for any like in-house translation things that we need. Um, and also one of the paras is someone that people generally go to for translation stuff. Um, so like I said, I am comfortable enough to translate things to send home, but my, um, my vocabulary for like the special education world isn't as great, you know, like I have a basic understanding and conversational I think technically I tested fluent, but for like this type of thing, um, I don't have that specific vocabulary. So I want to make sure that I'm able to, you know, accurately express things to this family. So I'll have the interpreter there, which will be nice. Um, and it's nice that we have someone who that's like their assigned role. Um, so it's not like I'm pulling someone away from other duties. Like we'll have someone who's, job it is to be the translator. So I'm very excited about that. I also have another family who speaks a different language at home that I don't speak. Um, so she, I met mom and mom was telling me that, you know, Eng her English isn't great, but you know, her husband speaks more English. So she was going to like have him help her understand like some of the paperwork I was sending home and stuff. And I said, you know, I'm sorry, I don't have any like understanding of your language that's not something that you know I I know so like I will send stuff home in English or like translate it best I can according to like Google Translate um but I am gonna you know ask around and see I know there's no one in the district that speaks that language um because I I talked to some of the people who had to work on this child's IEP um, and so during the PPT process, they had a family member come in to translate 
Um, but I'll see. Maybe I can find some friends who happen to speak this language. Um, yeah. So, you know, I will definitely learn a lot. I found out that this child um, doesn't do a whole lot of talking, but when he does, it tends to be in their home language because that's what they speak at home. That's what he hears most. Um, so we'll see. Um, big sister did a really good job speaking with me in English. Um, that was the other thing that I liked is that I got to meet more than just like the guardians. There were some siblings there as well. So I got to talk to them, um, and kind of see, we have a couple that are going into like first or second grade. So they're a few years older. Um, so I could kind of talk to them about that. I did my student teaching in second grade. Um, and then last year I spent time in both second and third grade. So I, you know, talked to them and was like, oh my goodness, you're in second grade. Like you learned so much that year. Cause it's true. Like second grade is a whole lot of learning. Um, so like I was talking to them about that and like, they were really excited for school. So that was good to see. Cause when a child is around that, like other kids who are excited for school, then they start to get excited. You know, that can be really helpful with them. So Yeah. It seemed like a really good group of kids. Families were so nice and supportive. Um, I have a couple students with allergies, so I need to, you know, make sure to send home notes saying, like, you know, for snack, we're going to be, you know, allergen free. So, like, no this, that or the other thing. Um, so I need to now that I know that kind of figure that out. Um, my class is an ABA classroom, so we will be doing discrete trial instruction. Um, or discrete trial teaching, depending on where you go. You'll, I've heard it called both things. Um, here they call it DTI. I'm used to calling it DDT. So we'll see. It, both will slip out. Um, but so I got to see their program binders for that. So that's basically like what things we're working on. So like if they have a goal to be able to um, identify colors, then this program is going to be about color identification and, you know, set one is red, set two is blue. And so it kind of walks through these steps of like, which color we're going to work on first. What do I say? What do I want the child to say? So I'll say like touch red and then they will touch the red object. Or do I want to say what color? And then they will tell me red. Um, so I got to look at those. I didn't get to keep them yet because um, the other people are still like, putting them together. So I didn't get to see every child, but I got to see some of them. And a lot of our kids are working on the same thing. We have a lot of colors. We have a lot of working on transitions, which is tricky. Like I'll admit, like that's a very hard thing, especially when you're three. Um, so we're going to work on that. A lot of learning how to play with other kids. Um, so that kind of gives me more of an idea of what I want to do and like what things I need to set up. So I have one of those, um, 16 photo case holder things. Um, I'll insert a picture or something. Um, but I got from Michael's. I got it on like super sale. Like it was a great deal. They're normally like $42. I got it for like 12 or something. Like it was great. Um, and so I want to use those for some programs because the kids have such similar programs. I might have some that are like shared between the kids and just kind of keep it in our workstation so that way it's easy to access. I'm not quite sure yet, but I'll work on that. Um, two of my students came to me with materials from their birth to three provider. So I will kind of look at those, see what I want to use or if I want to make anything new, um, like if we have new goals we're working on. So I'll look more through that. Um, I started setting up, I will insert a blurred picture here so you can kind of see. I have um, those Ikea book box things. And for right now, I did a sticky note, but eventually I will write the child's name on there or make like a little, a little name tag, something or other. Um, and I put all the child's old information in there. Unfortunately, the binders will not fit in there, I found out today. I had old binders from their old DTT information. Um, but I put kind of the old information in there for now. And then once I get new information, I will kind of switch that out, add that to, you know, a filing cabinet. Um, and then add new information as we go. But that will be, that is right behind my desk. So that will kind of be where most of our information is stored. 
I may have to rethink things since the binders won't fit in there. Um, but that will be where a lot of our um, like more private materials are that aren't necessarily everyday things for us to access, but that we still want to have on hand just in case. I also want to make like an emergency binder. Um, so anytime I'm out, if there's a sub or anything like that, they have the emergency information. Um, like we have a couple students with allergies, so to keep that in mind, um, and any other like major health information that the adults in the room will need to be aware of. Um, so I'll have that. I also found out that we have these, um, they just call them the red bags. And so that will have like our emergency stuff in it. Um, so that will be for like, if there's a fire drill and we got to get out, um, that bag will have things like our like class list. So I need to make some class lists to put in there. Um, and then also things like a book. So that way, if, you know, we're out for a while, I can take my three-year-olds and sit them down, and, you know, read a book. Um, or like bubbles or other things I can use to entertain them. Um, but yeah, anyways, all that aside, today went really well. I'm very excited. Tomorrow I have training at our like district central office. Um, so it will be me, the other preschool teachers, and the paraprofessionals. Um, so that'll be really exciting. My kids don't start until Friday. Everyone else will start Wednesday, tomorrow, Wednesday. Not sure. Um, but yeah, so we will have time to kind of meet together to talk more. Um, I am very excited that my parents will be getting some um, instruction in DTIs and DTTs um, and kind of how to run that. They got a little bit of training from what I heard some of them last year, but not a whole lot. I am a little bit more comfortable with that because I did a whole lot of it last year. So I'll definitely be able to help them out, but it'll be good for them to have some like real training and not just like me, you know, like they'll have someone um, to help them out. And honestly, my parents seem so nice. I'm so excited. It's worrisome for me going into these positions because I'm a first year teacher and because I'm so young, um, I worry that people won't take me very seriously. Um, but these parents have been so nice. Some of them have been at the school before, so they are very good resources for me. But it also seems like they are going to be very like know that I know what I'm doing, you know, which makes me feel good. Um, because I am a young teacher. This is my first year as a classroom teacher. So it's, I get worried that people aren't going to take me very seriously. Um, but so far, everyone has been so nice. And a lot of them are in a new position as well this year. So we're going to be learning a lot from each other anyways. Um, so I think that transition kind of helps me. But yeah, I think it'll be good. Everyone seems so nice and I'm so excited. So yeah. yeah. So that was my day. Very excited about it. Tomorrow I'll be in central office. The day after that, I have more training in another office. Um, and then on Thursday, we have conferences with families. And then I will be able to um, meet with my team and like really get some stuff done in the room and get some planning done, which will be very helpful. And my kids start on Friday. So yeah, the week is off to a good start. The year is off to a good start. I'm very excited. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. Um, for me, it'll be tomorrow. For you, it'll be in a couple seconds. But I will give you a little more updates as to our trainings and stuff for the rest of the week. Bye. Hello, everyone. So I know... A couple seconds ago when you heard me, um, I said that I would pick up again tomorrow. It's actually the day after that because, you know, I'm just a great YouTuber. <laughs> but yeah, today's Wednesday. Um, yesterday I had professional development. We had um, first aid, CPR, and AED training. And then today we had some more PD. We talked about um, de-escalating and how to deal with um, negative behaviors. And then we also talked about IEPs. Um, we use the website IEP, di IEP Direct um, to access our IEPs and to like actually fill out paperwork stuff. So it was a little bit of just how to use that. 
Um, and then we talked about how to write good goals for a child's IEP. Um, so when you're writing up a child's plan, you want to make sure that your goals are um, like based in standards and make sure that they're measurable and like, you know, all these things. Um, so we kind of talked about that. Um, so now I'm back and I am kind of typing up my schedule. So I have a schedule that I've shared with the other people on my team, so like the OT, PT, speech person. Um, but I was writing up a schedule that I would have like up in my classroom for like the adults to kind of look at. Um, I will have a more visual schedule that the children will be able to read and understand. Um, but this one is like more like for adults. Um, so this is something that I would keep in like my sub binder and something that I'll have up like on the wall for me so I can pay attention to like times and stuff. Um, but also this is going to go home with families, I think. So I'll kind of show you what I'm working on here. So my school runs on a six day schedule. So you'll see here, for example, we'll have something different on day four. That's when we do our second step lessons. And of course I'll, you know, include social skills throughout school, but we have to do like specific lessons on day four. Um, so I put that in here, but basically I just have like my basic schedule of the morning and then it's very similar in the afternoon. And so I will have this available for the other adults in the room and for families as well. And then I also included um, the specials that the kids have. So that is different between my morning and afternoon classes. So I need to like look and actually figure out when <laughs> their specials are because I have no idea. Um, but so we run on a six day schedule. So Friday, when we start will be a day four and then when they come back on Tuesday because we have Monday off it'll be day five Wednesday will be day six Thursday will be day one Friday day two etc so that's a very weird schedule for me I've never done it like that um, especially in elementary school I've always done it like five day like days of the week kind of thing um, so that'll get that'll take some getting used to figuring out what specials we have on what days. Um, but yeah, that's kind of our our schedule that we have. Yeah. So that's what I'm working on right now. I am also going to um, send some emails. I have a couple people that I need to get in touch with. Um, like, I need to email the special ed director make sure I get copies of some things that I need. Um, I have to email the speech person, see what her schedule looks like when she's taking my kids. So lots of like clerical stuff. Like I'm not doing anything super fun. I'm not, you know, decorating bulletin boards or anything right now. As much as I would love to be doing stuff like that. Um, it's a lot of like actual like setting stuff up kind of work. Um, and I think once I get the schedule kind of underway and like kind of like figure out what I'm doing, then I'll be able to do more fun stuff. Um, like I've said in previous videos, I don't want to do anything too overwhelming in my room um, because I know my kids will be distracted by it. But I do want to make like some things like, you know, put the kids pictures up and really like make them feel at home. Um, so I do want to do some things to kind of decorate the room. So I'll get to do that later on. Um, but for now, I'm just really focusing on setting up the schedule. Um, so that's what I'm doing now. Um, tomorrow, I will have meetings with families. I have one, two, three. I have three definites. And then a fourth um, family emailed me and said they had to switch times um, because they didn't realize their child had an appointment at that time. So um, I definitely am meeting with three families, um, one of them with an interpreter. So I need to make sure 
that I have an interpreter there. <laughs> um, so I will have one. So I emailed the interpreter for the district um, and I'm waiting to hear back from him. Hopefully he'll be able to make it. It's outside of the time that he would normally be available. Um, so if he's not, then I have some other people that I can talk to. Um, so we'll see how that works. <laughs> um, there's a pair in another room um, who is able to translate and you know would be willing to do it. So I just need to check um, and see what her schedule is, because if she's translating for another conference at that time, then she can't help me, you know. Um, so if not, then I will talk to one of the bilingual teachers and see if you can help me out. So it's just a lot of like, I want to make sure that this mom feels comfortable talking to me and where like I do speak Spanish and I'm very good at understanding it's my, it's like the expressive piece of it for me that's harder. Like it's harder for me to speak Spanish than to understand Spanish. Um, and so I want to be able to properly like express um, myself and like understand the child's needs and things like that. Um, so I feel like both for me and for the mom that I'll be talking to, it'll be helpful to have someone there who knows like the terminology. You know what I mean? Like there's no way that I could like speak Spanish and like translate at like a hospital. Like, I don't know how to say like various words for like surgeries and like body parts and stuff like that. You know, like there's certain terminology that comes along with different places. Like there's certain terminology that you use in a hospital. There's certain terminology you use in a school. And so like things like that, those specific vocabulary, I like don't have that skill set. So I want to make sure that I find someone who does like understand that and does know that vocabulary. So that way they can better express, you know, what both I and the mom want to say during this meeting. So I'm very lucky that we have multiple people in the district who are able to translate um, and are comfortable doing that. So I'll have to find one of them. I have three or four people that, you know, I can count on to really help me out with that. So. We'll see how it goes. Um, wish me luck. But yeah, that's my plan for tomorrow. And then in the afternoon, um, I'll have to like sneak out for a conference. But during the afternoon, we're getting DTT training or DTI training. I use them interchangeably because I heard them heard it both ways in like different districts that I've worked in. Here, I think they call it DTI. Maybe. I don't know. Anyways, um, so we thought we were getting training on that today, but I guess like the schedule was wrong, so we weren't. Um, but one of the BCBAs, the behavior analyst, um, said that she would be able to come in tomorrow afternoon and talk to us. And I have some experience with it, so I feel comfortable going into it. Um, but the other teacher in the other ABA classroom and the paras do not feel comfortable with it yet because they haven't been trained. So I'll be okay like sneaking out during that time. I'm not going to miss too much. It's going to be a short meeting anyways. Um, but yeah, so that'll be um, our plan for tomorrow. And I'm really excited about that because that's going to be a big part of the work that we're doing. So like I wanted to make sure that the people in my room had that training like, whereas I'm comfortable, like, kind of explaining it to them, and I did today. I kind of, like, broke it down into basics of, you know, like, what the goal sheets are going to look like, um, how many times we're doing it, like, you know, that kind of thing. Um, but it'll be good for them to, like, get some actual experience with it. Um, so that's our plan for tomorrow. We're going to learn more about that. Can you hear the train that's going by right now? It's, like, really loud when the train blows its horn and like drives by anyways um yeah so we're gonna do that but it is about 5 30 um and I like it's raining right now so I was going to wait until it stops but I think it's gonna stop for like an hour like eight to nine or something like that so I don't really want to wait that long so I think I might just bear the rain and I am going to run over 
um, across the parking lot to the like clubhouse for my apartments. Uh, you know, the like shared area kind of thing. Um, because they have Wi-Fi over there, and I still have yet to set up my own Wi-Fi in my apartment. Um, so I was going to go use their Wi-Fi and send some emails and set some stuff up. So that's my plan for this evening. I promise I will try and pick up the camera tomorrow and, like, be good and help. <laughs> um, I know I haven't been <laughs> the great at remembering to film things the past, like, week, but... It's just really busy. You know, there's a lot of stuff going on and like with it being a new school and like everything, like I'm feeling a lot of like nervousness. Um, so then I get a nervous tummy. So then I don't want to like film because I don't feel good, you know, so whatever. Um, and I think like it's it's understandable to be nervous, you know, like I'm going into a new school year. I don't know these kids. I don't know the teachers. I don't know the paras like I'm going into a brand new school system um, this is my first year as, like, an actual teacher. Um, but a lot of the teachers that I'm working with are in similar boats. Like, most of the paras that are there have not worked in an ABA room before. A couple of them have, but no one in my classroom. Um, so, like, they're nervous about that. And, like, the teacher that I've been working with a lot has only taught third grade. So, like, this is a big change for her. You know, so they're a lot of changes that have been going on with the other people in my school. So I like feel some level of comfort in that, in that we're all like going to be doing a lot of learning together this year, which will be nice. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's nerve wracking to be starting in a new position, but I'm excited too. you know, like these kids are so cute and I am so excited to get to work with them. We're going to learn a whole lot this year. Um, yeah, so I think I might try and bear this rain and run across the parking lot to go <laughs> get some Wi-Fi. Um, but yeah, I'll keep you updated if I do anything super exciting, but I don't foresee myself doing anything exciting this evening. So um, I will probably see you tomorrow or you'll see me tomorrow, hear me tomorrow, whatever. Um, yeah, so tomorrow will be conferences and some DTI training. So yeah, get excited for that. I'll see you then. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. This is the kind of stuff that I wanted to print today. Ah, oh. uh, now I don't have to because it's all here. Mm -hmm. And we got some counting bears, some sorting, letters. I have no idea, but I love them. We have binders. Oh my goodness, I'm so pumped. You don't even know how excited I am right now. Look at all this garbage we put in the hallway. So we got rid of all that stuff. Plus more. There's more in that garbage. Oh, and there's more stuff here. But we have our dramatic play. Circle all set up. Everything's covered, which is really nice. And all these are organized. We got paint down here, but then we got like these all all nice and organized now. Here's paint. We're gonna make our me colored paint tomorrow, which will be nice. There's that.
I gotta move all that stuff. stuff is hidden behind here. We got blocks. We got little animals and people. More building things. Lots of puzzles. We got Legos over here. Legos are going to be open first thing when they come in. We put some Velcro on this, so it stays now. Uh, all of our art stuff is hidden behind there for now. Move the car back a little bit. I'm kind of worried about keeping this out, so we'll see. And all this. Oh, it's pretty empty now. Nice. I'm so grateful that the pairs were able to organize stuff for me while I had conferences. Oh, here are a lot of our um, letters down here. We hid the big thing of paper back there. I might turn this around just so it's not a distraction because I don't, I think we have enough stuff out for now. And then back here is more teachery stuff. Um, so this morning I had all these binders left here so I think these I'm going to turn into little um, like PEX binders for them to communicate with. So. I just got access to board maker and then I think I'm going to download some other stuff too so we'll have that and then one of these will go in each thing. Got to figure out all that. Um, I also found out I'm going to have one more trial up in the afternoon so now these don't fit there's like a little divot in the wall here. This is the book we're going to read tomorrow on our first day. I have all this stuff that I need to figure out. Um, so there's a lot of like binders and stuff in here. And we also put in some of our other stuff. So we have like cutting boards, geo boards. And these are like more communication stuff, more like pecs. So we got to figure all that out. I don't even remember what's down there. data binders, or program binders, more packs. This is stuff I brought in. These I will need for sign-ins. Here's my sweatshirt and my keys. Um, I'll leave these here. I need to figure out my desk. Oh, I put this up. I really like this. This part is going to be blurred. Um, but I put up this calendar, so right now it's very, like, just plain, but our first day is tomorrow, Friday, and it's a day four. I got this from Target, and I'm really excited about it. Because it's dry erase, and then there are these little like cling sticker things. So, yeah. So, 
so one of the moms let me borrow this. And so it has like all the different pictures for them to communicate. So I'm gonna make my own, but she let me have this so I could use it to model mine. Hey y'all, so um, I'm home now, but I just showed you some of the footage that I took today of my classroom. Um, so today I had conferences, like I'd mentioned. Um, I ended up having four, yeah, four conferences. Um, one of them was about two kids because I have twins in my class. Um, so four slash five. <laughs> um, and yeah, so did that. Um, got a lot of work done while I was doing conferences. Um, my paras were absolutely amazing and were helping to like organize the room. So they um, like took everything out of the cabinets. Um, I believe I showed you we had like five garbage bags in the hallway. Um, I saw our custodian on my way out and I was like, I am so sorry. <laughs> Nothing's been touched in that room in, like, decades. Um, and he was very nice, and he understood. <laughs> um, but I'm very glad that we, like, got stuff out of there. Um, so that'll be good. I'm going into, like, a cleaner room tomorrow. And, like, yes, there's still a bunch of stuff. Like, my desk is covered. The, like, back counter behind my desk is covered. But, you know, we'll, I'll figure that out as I go. It doesn't need to be perfect. And, like, as much as I love, like, watching classroom setup videos where, like, everything looks so nice and, like, you know, beautiful by the time the kids come in, I know for me that's not realistic and it doesn't have to be that way. So I'm okay with that. Um, like, granted, there were things that I wish I could have gotten done before the kids came in. But it's fine. Like, it's nothing that is going to hinder their learning. Just, like, decoration stuff that I wanted to do. You know what I mean? So. But, yeah. And then in the afternoon, we had some time to learn about um, discrete trials. Um, I have some experience with it. So it was kind of a review for me. But for most of the people there, they hadn't done it before. So they were... Um, like, like it was good for them to get that information. We are not starting right away. Um, I will still like have my kids like have a work time, um, but we're not going to be taking a whole lot of data to start with. So that way they can get used to it. And also, so the BCBA that we're going to be working with can come in, um, and like show us how she wants things done. Um, I think I am going to use a different data sheet than she, like, put in the kids' binders um, because I think it'll be a little bit easier. Um, she has data sheets for each program separate, which, like, I understand, like, that that makes sense. But I think for us, it'll be easier to have all of our data on one, on one sheet for the day instead of, like, having to flip through to the next program. Does that make any sense? Um, maybe once we like actually get into it, I can show you kind of what I mean. But yeah. Um, yeah, so that's what we did. And then we were able to come back, put some more stuff away, um, kind of talk about our plan. So yeah, it was good. Um, I don't really have anything else to say about today. It was pretty much just like, setting stuff up in the room. Um, I believe I showed you I found some little binders and I'm going to use those as like communication binders um, for in school. So I will put some, I was given access to BoardMaker. The, um, the speech pathologist has access to it. So she said she would let me like print out some stuff. So I'm going to print out some things there. Um, we cannot print in color in my school. If I want to print in color, then I have to send it to the copy center at the high school. And, you know, they'll print it out there and then 
send it over to my school. So that kind of stinks because I wish that I were able to like print this all out now and like get it set up. Um, but it's fine. We'll survive. Um, so yeah, I have to set all that up. I really like the, um, I'll leave a link down in the description, but I found this really cool, um, like schedule kind of thing. So it's like schedule the first then. And like, I really like the pictures and stuff that she uses. Um, so I think I'm going to use that as kind of the basis for my binder, but it'll look a little different. We did something, um, last year that I really liked with my kids, just like the way our binder was set up. I really liked how we had it done. They ended up changing it a little bit after like I switched kids. So I don't know like how we ended the year off last year. So like the way we did it when I was working in second grade was really cool. I just like liked the setup of it, like the way we had the schedule and the token board and all that. Um, so I think I'm going to make something similar. I don't know. We'll have to see. I'm going to play around with it, see what my kids need. Um, I know the two twins that I have, um, they both use communication book binder things. Um, and mom said that she found that very helpful. So I think I might do that for them and then just kind of see what the other kids need. I don't know. We'll see. I'll make a bunch of them and we'll go from there. But yeah. So that is it for this video. I am going to go, but hopefully I will get some filming done tomorrow on our first day of school and make a separate video about that. So in the meantime, I'll tell you all the typical YouTuber things like subscribe, comment, etc. There are links down in the description for any sort of products that I've mentioned throughout the video, as well as links to where you can find me elsewhere. So check those out and I'll see you there. Bye.